Colombia is a transcontinental country that cuts across both South America and an insular region of North America. It is one of the world's 17 megadiverse countries and has the second highest level of biodiversity in the world. The poison dart frog is a common name for a group of frogs that are native to tropical Central and South America. Although they are brightly colored, this is just a signal to predators that they are not worth eating. They are named poison dart frogs since Native Americans use their secretions to poison the tip of their darts and arrows. Size and Weight most species of poison dart frogs are very small, just about the size of a paper clip. Hardly do they average greater than an inch in size. However, there are some species that go beyond this. Some are able to grow up to 2.4 inches in length. When it comes to their weight, well, it's a similar story. They weigh one ounce on average. This is about the same size as a pencil, a CD, or a slice of bread. Location When it comes to location, poison dart frogs are endemic to humid and tropical environments of Central and South America. They typically stay in tropical rainforests. Although Colombia is the country most associated with them, they can also be found in Bolivia, Costa Rica, Brazil, Ecuador, Venezuela, Suriname, French Guiana, Peru, Panama, Guyana, and Nicaragua. They can also be found in Hawaii. Although they were artificially introduced and are not indigenous to the state, the natural habitat of most species of these creatures includes tropical, subtropical, and moist lowland forests, high-altitude shrubland, montane forests and rivers, freshwater and intermittent freshwater marshes, lakes, and swamps. Since they are amphibians, they never stray too far from water. Population there are more than a hundred species of poison dart frog in existence. Some estimates place the exact figure at 170 species. It's very difficult to find actual population figures or even rough estimates for all of these species. Nevertheless, it is known that most of them are endangered due to habitat loss, chytrid diseases, and collection for the pet trade. The first and the last of these factors aren't anything that other animals are unused to facing. However, the second, chytrid diseases, are infectious fungal diseases unique to amphibians. Luckily, humans, other mammals, reptiles, birds, fish, and invertebrates are not affected by this disease. Affected frogs stop eating, shed their skin, and lose the ability to react to stimuli. After a while, they die. Because of how much a threat these diseases are to poison dart frog populations, conservation groups attempt to treat the frogs using medicines that are used to treat athlete's foot in humans. Dieting Poison dart frogs are largely carnivorous. Adults typically feed on small insects like ants and termites, which they find on the forest floor. They capture their prey by using their sticky retractable tongues. Some species, like the tricolored poison frog, are carnivorous to the point of cannibalism. In addition to insect larvae, they eat other tadpoles too. Tadpoles of most species are highly omnivorous though. Since they have a lot of growing up to do, they can't be too picky with the food they choose to eat. Their meals range from algae to detrius to insect larvae to dead insects. Sometimes, females lay unfertilized eggs in a tadpole pond for the young to happily feast on. There is an interesting link between the dietary habits of poison dart frogs and their poison content. Some researchers argue that the frogs don't synthesize the poison themselves and that their poison comes from a specific insect in the forest that these frogs consume. These specific insects in turn get their poison from consuming a particular plant. And so, poison dart frogs in captivity, who are given custom diets, aren't poisonous at all. In captivity, they are fed with small crickets, bean beetles, black worms, and fruit flies daily, making them safe to interact with. Life Cycle 
These frogs usually mate by external fertilization. The female first lays the eggs, which are then fertilized by the male. The interesting thing about these frogs is that they are dedicated parents. The moment eggs hatch into tadpoles, the adult frogs stick them to their backs using mucus and then carry them into the rainforest canopy. Once there, the parents safely deposit the tadpoles into pools of water that accumulate in epiphytic plants, such as bromeliads. Once there, they feed on invertebrates, and as mentioned earlier, the mother sometimes supplements these meals with underutilized eggs. They typically live between 10 to 15 years in the wild. However, some frogs in captivity have grown as old as 23 years. Why are they dangerous? Well, as we've mentioned many times by now, the main thing that makes these creatures dangerous is their poison. Many poison dart frogs secrete lipophilic alkaloid toxins through their skin. This serves as protection against predation. Some species are more toxic than others. This discrepancy is caused by genetics. Other than that, as we mentioned earlier, the diet of these creatures is an environmental factor that can affect the amount and potency of their toxins. Because because poison dart frog species vary in the makeup of their toxins, they have different effects on predators. Let's make a case study of batricotoxin. It is highly neurotoxic and is the most dangerous toxin that any species of poison dart frog can make. When a predator consumes a frog that makes this toxin, the secreted batricotoxin goes to work, attacking the nervous system and causing convulsions, muscle contractions, salivation, and even death. The toxin is released through colorless or milky secretions from glands located on the back and behind the ears of the frogs. Since there is no antidote to this toxin, the predator had best spit this toxin out immediately. Otherwise, if they fail to, the dosage will rise high enough to kill them. Larger predators will require a slightly higher dosage to die from these toxins, but even if it doesn't kill them, these symptoms are no joke. Native Americans discovered the potency of these toxins so long ago. The Noanama Choco and Embera Choco of the Emberawanan of Western Colombia used these toxins for poisoning blowgun darts for use in hunting. Poison darts are prepared by the Choco by first impaling a frog on a piece of wood. The frog is then held over or roasted alive over a fire until it cries in pain. Bubbles of poison from the frog's skin begins to blister. The dart tips are prepared by touching them to the toxin, or the toxin can be caught in a container and allowed to ferment. Paralysis from a poison dart can drop a bird or monkey at its tracks instantaneously. Special Abilities well, poison aside, there's one other thing that poison dart frogs are well known for, their highly bright coloration. This doesn't exist just to make them beautiful, rather, it is part of a biological defense mechanism known as aposmatism. Aposmatism is a phenomenon in which certain creatures advertise to would-be predators that they are not worth eating. This worthiness is defined in different ways for different animals. Sometimes it means they have a bad taste, or a bad smell, or sharp spines, or aggressive nature. For the poison dart frog, it means they are highly toxic. Aposmatism is exhibited by certain species of beetles, cuttlefish, skunks, starfish, and snakes. Another special adaptation of these creatures is that they have an amazing sense of sight. This helps them locate tiny prey like ants and termites so as to capture them. But having good sight is not enough. The real hunting apparatus which these creatures use is their tongues. Being retractable is one thing, but these tongues are sticky in addition, allowing their prey to get caught with little to no chance of escape. Attacks and Encounters in general, these creatures don't attack humans. In addition, their bright coloration wards off predators. However, some daredevils and nature enthusiasts have sought them out intentionally. One of these daredevils is the wildlife YouTuber Coyote Peterson. The encounter happened in the rainforest of Costa Rica on May 17, 2017. 
Peterson spent many hours trying to catch these creatures, often hurting himself doing so. Anytime he tried to grab one, it managed to evade him by hopping out of the way in time. But finally, after several tries, he managed to get a poison dart frog of the species Dendrobates auratus in his arms. He managed to keep it in his hand by clamping down on its legs with his fingers. Although it started to secrete its poisonous mucus, he was safe, as the toxin is only potent once inside the body. Would you dare try touching the poison dart frog?